Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Tactics Ogre. Let's cling together, shall we? Oh man, you never know, are they gonna add a character or take one away? It's just nothing but curveballs with this game. Incidentally, curveballs used to be my nickname in high school. Thanks for joining me for this episode, everybody. Hmm. Are those zombie Dargons? What a horrible map! We just have to maneuver straight up this trench to this point. Undead. Undead. All of them. Except, uh, Ileton here. Okay, um... I'm a little worried she's gonna get knocked off into oblivion, but we'll cherry it if that happens. And there is nowhere good to fight. I think we can all agree on that. Also, I forgot to take a look at... Denim and... Uh, his sister. Help me out, Katya's, Katya's stats. But in theory, those have been increasing a lot. And they'll be, you know, good and stuff. Oh, thank goodness for Canopus. And his amazing, amazing reach. Oh yeah, he's got a balder bow. So, double damage to all of the enemies on this map. It'll make up for the fact that he's using a one-handed bow at this point. Which... I guess the Vartan class would be pretty much broken if it didn't have that limitation. Also, because all of these enemies are of the undead... Yes! Um... We can't really use dark magic, which is okay. I've probably been getting the most mileage out of fire and air. I know a lot of people swear by dark. That's all I have to say. <laughs> there was no follow-up. I don't know the game well enough to have any insight on the subject. Oh no. Not like this. Okay, a little bit of luck on our side there. Because it may be a while before help arrives. I'm just gonna go out on a limb there and suggest as much. Two, three, four. Okay, we've bottlenecked our own units here. I'm gonna leave her back. And we'll do this put Boon of Swiftness on Katia because she is like a moving Boon of Swiftness machine. Because she can do that and meditate, which is a pretty rare combo. She can't use Exorcism, though. Hmm. The good news is, Sistina's gonna have enough MP to use uh, Steel Stance, or Tech Points, sorry. No counter attack, that's unfortunate. No! Yeah, there was no way we were getting away with that twice. Also, the case could be made having her. You. Having her rush up alone like that, probably not the best idea I've ever had. But if I could do it all again...
Okay, we're putting him here because if he gets critted, he'll fall off, and that'll actually offer him more protection, and he won't take damage from it. She got petrified without steel stance. This could be could be a rough one for her. Awaken stone. Okay, she's gonna lose defense when we do this, so I hope her turn pops soon. Uh, two enemies act. She should be okay. Hammer time! Look at the lineup. Just a nasty traffic jam. Free although Canopus, well no, he can escape that, I guess. One, two, three, and that's the spot that Sister is gonna have to run for. Black Willowa? Perfect. Would have been nice to crit there for obvious reasons, but I'll take it. Just wanted to be double sure in case there was parry, because that was a rogue. So often there's all sorts of annoying defensive abilities. She's not exactly sheltered there by... Are you kidding me? What was that crap? And it was a skill. That better be a lot of tech points is all I have to say. Just uses animate dead like it means nothing. Thirty. This seems broken. Okay, she's already slid back one unit as well. I'm not keen on that. Eh, live with your paralysis, I say. Now a status ailment. We'll see if we can cure her uh, other problems. Yeah, I figured. So close! Uh, I'm gonna chariot that, actually. After what I just saw, we need you dead and now. But I will take your stuff. Damascus? Yay, a balder shield. Might be time to start worrying about them. Uh... Denim's nearby. If he can get the movement he needs, he'll be able to dispatch them easily enough. That's alright, I'm okay with Canopus being exposed as he is. Dragon Slayer, I'm hoping that's going to give him the firepower he needs. 
40%. Eat it. Please don't. Okay, a little bit more luck, but we're due. I was in no way nervous that she'd fall off. All right, everybody, place your bets. Will it be enough? Booyah. And you're dead. He dead. I say you, he dead. Uh, Denim got a ton of tech points from that anyway. We'll slide here because she'll get her turn a little bit faster. So I could remove the paralysis from my friend and yours, Divald, but honestly, I think I'd rather see if we can do some damage with Judgment. And by some, I mean virtually none. Okay, this is a bit better. Let's start. dead. She can petrify. Ideally, I want to cluster as many of the enemies together as possible. Because that's going to be the ticket to exercising them all. I'm going to trust that Sestina can stay alive. Should have done this first, but live and learn. Baby steps. I would rather the dragon not revive, just based on the damage it can deal. The wizards are probably the ones that terrified me the next most. And I don't want Black Willow Wall wearing off. To the extent that I would even use it on my own characters. Eh, someone else can finish him off, but... Delightful. If he wants to spend his turns using Men Leafs, that's 100% okay with me. Also, I think that maybe is supposed to be Speedster? Makes you really fast, anyway. I think we're in a situation where, no matter what we do... Not sure why I even did that, but I'll live with it. Empress is max MP, I'll take it. Heal three? No. Alright, everybody, we need 14 MP. Place your bets. I have a feeling everybody won that bet. If you've been watching at all. Ah, the double pick'em. My favorite. Okay, and Denim should be, er, Divold should be in a position to really wreck some stuff. You know what, I take it back. Actually, those tech points will serve him well. We don't have the positioning we need anyway. 
charge up. And I'm regretting taking as few magic leaves as I have into this area, but we all knew that was going to become a thing. Okay, that's just in his reach. Seems obvious. And scatter the bones. Seriously, if you scatter the bones, they shouldn't be able to revive. Also, I might be able to just wipe out all the enemies quickly enough that it doesn't. Mm. I'm not sure we'll be able to walk over there, actually. I'll forget what I was saying. I think it's I think it's untrue. We're just gonna have to rely on exorcism because a couple placements are making it impractical to finish this map much faster than I am on pace to. start. We can probably hammer them with that again next turn. I probably didn't even need to do that. Maybe we can hit the far one? Stopped by the bushes. This map's layout is uh, just terrible. Well, I guess I'll just patiently wait for them to revive from the dead. You know, if you think about it, that should kill Divold. Anyway. You know, just sit there. I guess we could have tried using judgments and try to do some AoE damage, but to what end? kill anyway. Denim might be in position to take out the other one fairly quickly. That actually did more good than harm. Wait, that's Murden. So we could heal one of my own units a bunch, or we could damage one of theirs by one. It's a tricky choice. Still gonna have her wrap around just in case. All right, that was just me exploring some ideas. It never amounted to anything, but worth it. Also, that uh, little jerk in the middle of the pond is gonna revive now. Justify it. I 
I'm just gonna try to get her closer, I think. Cross your fingers, everybody. Dang it! <laughs> well, I intend to kill it with a rock. That guy's positioning is actually very inconvenient because it's blocking denim out. Let's see what we can do on that subject. Some damage. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I was sort of uh, trying to decide whether that was a mistake. I also could have just done one damage to the little wizard and gotten rid of a nuisance, but... We've got other mechanisms to deal with that. Don't! <laughs> Okay, fine, we'll cut you down along the way. If we play our cards right, we could actually get a very effective Exorcism 2 pattern. Sestina's so not going to be able to act in time. okay unless it hits Olivia. Could be seen as a situation to use Xenowine, but I'm not going to. Actually, we might be able to win it all here. Again, the fact that I could be picking up treasures is no small deterrent. Cut down these damnable trees. It's actually good for working on her skills. Actually shouldn't have ended his turn, should have used Innervate, but that's okay. There we are. And she's got enough MP to do a huge exorcism. Or at least a two for one. Actually just kidding, this guy's gonna revive. Nope. No, we're good. Just stay there. Donk. It's the hollow clang of that. Ah. Well, we'll get rid of the dragon anyway. And then we're just two treasures away from winning, so I'm going to call it right there. The Hermit, that's a magic attack. Not particularly useful on Canopus, but... Actually, he's not even going to pick it up because I ended the fight right away. But we won? Eh? We won. Also, we're so close to the end of the game that probably past the point of microing to this extent. Alright, to the Ivory Stair. The prince ascended to the next world, led by a heavenly host. Died, didn't he? Yeah. Well, 
More archaeology in the next episode, everybody. <laughs>